Hello, I'm Ryan. And I'm Joyce. And welcome to Top 5 Beatdown, a show where we compare top fives for topics that seem completely asinine, yet somehow garner strong opinions. And to add some fun to the mix, we compare our top fives to that of a special guest. Today's topic is Top 5 Fast Food Burgers. And today's special guest is a Try Guy and a Menu Gobbler. Please welcome to the Beat Zone, Keith Haber's Burger. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Good to see you. A lot of people in here. That's mm -hmm. right. Perfect guest to have for top five fast food burgers, the burger man himself. I think at this point, I've actually eaten more individual fast food items than any other person on the planet. I tried it all. And that's as impressive as it is frightening. Yeah. I have fear for your body and your innards. I'm an athlete. Honestly, you out. are. I mean, I think you're a perfect specimen of a human. Yeah, know? we've been thinking about we should study me. Maybe I've been shooting a documentary all this time. You should donate your body to science. You should. Uh, yeah. And also, Joyce. I'm not, here. Thank you for filling in for Shane. <laughs> yes. Who, as we all know, has passed away. Uh, okay, unfortunately. Rip to Shane. Rip. Uh, before we get into these lists, let's establish the rules up top. For it to be a fast food burger, it has to be from a fast food restaurant. And for it to be a fast food restaurant, it has to have a drive through to qualify. I think we'll all know what a fast food burger is. Let's play a safe, clean game. And uh, without further ado, wait a second, I'm getting something from... Yes, let's go to our sideline reporter, Stephen Lim, with a special message. Uh, yeah, Steven is out on vacation, so I'm filling in. Shane, your other friendly ringside commentator. Now, I'm a hungry guy who spends way too much on burgers. So in order to get on top of my expenses, we're counting down the top five ways to save up for a hundred burgers. burgers. Today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. Now, this personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, build a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. Now, for your top five. Number five, the Budget Bliss Burger. I'm using Rocket Money to negotiate my internet and cable bills for me by simply uploading a photo and tapping a button so I can afford more cheeseburgers. Number four, the Tap and Trimmings Tenderloin. Safely and securely identify recurring charges outside of my regular burger a day order and cancel unwanted subscriptions with just a tap. Number three, the Credit Crusader Combo. Monitor my credit with alerts of important changes that impact my score, plus insight on ways to improve it. Number two, the quarter pound of savings. I can choose the amount and the frequency, and Rocket Money will automatically deposit my savings into a smart savings account from which I can withdraw anytime. And finally, number one, the Burger Baller. Set budgets and automatically monitor my spending by category, get notifications when I've exceeded them, and visualize my spend to earn ratio by month, quarter, or year. And by spend to earn, I mean buy and consume a ton of burgers. Yum! To save more and spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com beatdown, or click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash beatdown to get started for free. Uh-huh. Okay, now back to the Burger Beat Zone. My thoughts on burgers, I love them. I eat them all the time, too much, my wife says. You know, I'm a connoisseur. I feel like I'm the kind of girl who gets a burger when she's blackout drunk from the club. All right. You know, $20 popping out of her titty, and she goes in line and she's okay. like, I really need a fucking burger. But if you're blacked out while you're having the burger, isn't that not going to be hard to then remember the burger that you had on the list? See, I, it's an art form, because I remember the taste of it on my mouth the next morning. Or do you tattoo it on your arm like memento? Sometimes I take a selfie to remind myself <laughs> how much money I spent. All right. I'm a big burger boy as well. I mean, yeah. it's in the last name, but I do love cheeseburgers. I, you know, I'm known for loving fried chicken. I think my secret love affair is cheeseburgers. Okay. I think they're so good. And I love just the classic presentation. I don't need truffle oil. I don't need onion rings on it. Lettuce, tomato, onion, mayo, mayonnaise, mayo and mayonnaise, please. Ketchup, <laughs> mustard, you know, go all the way with the normal stuff. If you want to put something special on it, sure. I don't need that. Let's list! As always, we will start with our guest, 
please reveal number five, Mr. Haber's Burger. Okay, so number five is a little bit non-traditional, and maybe this isn't a fully national chain, but it's one that's here that I think okay. should be embraced. The Del Taco Double Cheeseburger. What in the name? Now Garbage. you're saying, wait. Garbage. No, okay, all on. right, let's respect <laughs> the list. You, you've been warned, let's respect the list. Here's something special about the Del Taco Double Cheeseburger. It's the only cheeseburger they sell at all. They don't sell a single, they don't sell a junior, they don't sell one that's more Mexican. They just <laughs> sell a double cheeseburger. And I think it tastes like a Whopper if you made it from McDonald's. I think it's delicious, it's a great hangover burger, Joyce, you gotta give it a try. And it's nothing like the rest of the food at Del Taco. Okay. okay. It certainly does not sound like a thing that's served at Del Taco. I know, it's an odd choice, but damn, it's a good little And burger. that's why we have you here, because you bring the chaos. Yeah. You, you put a burger item from a taco joint. Yeah. That's the Keith Haber's burger difference. I'm just like, everything I've had from Del Taco has been an explosive experience in the bathroom. Every single time I have Del Taco blackout drunk. And, and you don't think it's not. the alcohol? <laughs> I think it's Del Taco. <laughs> <laughs> it's never alcohol. Never, okay. <laughs> never blames the alcohol. Never. It's gotta be this goddamn burger I'm eating. <laughs> yep. Well, let's move on to my number five here. And uh, I've actually forgotten what it was, so this is gonna be a surprise to me. My number five is... A three by three from In and Out, maximum patty, three slices of cheese. You're out of control. That's, that's am a good I? One. Am You're I? Out of control. Yeah, three no, by I mean, three? The fun thing about this is it's hard to fit in your mouth. It is. Very, very hard. How you gotta, do you eat it? Like, you have to unhinge your jaw like a snake wait, and then to shove it in your mouth. It. You know what Who they say? What that mouth do? What that mouth do? Here's what that mouth do. Oh, that is oh. a big mouth. You are like a little snake. You, you have a pretty big mouth too. Who's got the biggest mouth? I mean, we have a three big mouth. <laughs> We're kind of a three by three. We're yeah. like those big bass fish that sit on a wall and start singing. <laughs> Take me to the river. <laughs> I like this. A lot of people find it to be a bit much. This is after I've been very, very tired and I'm just at the end of my rope. And I, 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 I need something to make me feel like shit. I gotta say, I think there's a limit to how much burger you actually want on your burger. You <laughs> gotta have room say. for the condiments. It's about the balance. Mm -hmm. Well, are you tripling the condiments? Not tripling the condiments. Now let's not get crazy. Look, I tolerate vegetables in burgers. I think they add to the burger, but if I ever get to a bite that's mostly tomato and lettuce and there's barely any meat, I just throw it away. I cherish those moments. Yeah. Well, you know, to each their own. Anyways, let's move on to your number five. <laughs> My number five is um, a white pastel cheese slider. <laughs> Y'all were never a child in New York. Your mother came home late and she got six of those little tiny burgers and stuffed it down our little throats. It's just a sweet it's treat. Like it's big. like a burger treat, an appetizer. You know, my mom never forced one of those down my throat, but I did live in Chicago as a poor Sorry. college graduate and we got White Castle Crave Cases. And yeah. wow, oh, what's what a, crave a crowd case? pleaser. It's, it's a Crave like, Case. A Crave Case is just a fuck ton of little burgers. Now I will say I've only had the frozen variety of this. I've never actually uh. had the burger itself. Then again, I've never had the Del Taco double uh, cheese, but that's also because I have a tongue. And uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? That was disrespectful that of me. Was rude. I respect the list. I, res a, I rescind that comment. <laughs> I rescind that comment. That was very rude. I can't believe we're so disparate. I think we're completely in a different ball game of what a cheeseburger is supposed to be. We might yeah. meet in the middle. Though. Ryan's a meat mountain That's kind right. of guy. Joyce is looking for the little bites. Yeah, I'm going to cheese. taco restaurants. <laughs> uh, they don't call me beef boy for nothing. Well, we'll see what happens in yeah, number four. Yeah, I think maybe we will come together. Let's go to number four for Keith. Okay, my number four is... Oh, wow, I like the ASMR. Mm -hmm. The Whopper. All right, okay, classic. a classic. Uh, American yeah. classic. Yeah. And I think a Whopper with cheese is also quite good. Yes. Honorable mention to the Junior Whopper, eh. which sometimes can be better than the Whopper. But that's because I like the ratio of vegetables to meat. That's not your vibe. Yeah. I love the flame broiling. Yeah. How many patties on the Whopper Just versus one. the Whopper? Wait, what makes a Junior Whopper Junior? It's a smaller, it's a smaller patty. Yeah. Interesting, I've never thought about the ratio of meat to veggies, and I, I never realized that I'm a big meat guy. Yeah. I like my meat bumping elbows. Like you're, standing room only for you're my meat. Proper beef man. In this I'm a beef man. The content yeah. just writes itself. Did you try the Spider Verse burger? I didn't. That's I a Spider Verse it. Whopper, right? I ate it. It's I a, loved it's it. It's a red Whopper. Mm -hmm. They I do. They, they've been coloring their buns funny colors for years. Now. Yeah, so have I. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see a photo of that. <laughs> I can show you after. Let's uh, move on to my number four. Aren't you married now? <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. <laughs> number four is. The Big Mac 
for McDonald's. Look. Oh. You're seeing a trend here. I like a towering burger. This guy has a bun in the middle of the burger, because why the fuck not? It's really good. I could see you out of my peripheral vision and I'm gonna ignore it because- I thought you were a beef boy. I know, you're, you're a, like a burger size. Turns queen. out you're a little bread queen. Yeah, yeah. like it's, it's going in your mouth as long as there's stuff you, in there. You heard it here first, I am a size queen. You uh, are a size queen. I don't like it unless it's really stretching my mouth. <laughs> I couldn't put the actual thing I wanted to put here. I wanted to put the McGangbang. Uh, what the f- That, uh, AKA the McMooCluck, also known as the McMooCluck. Yeah, the McGangbang's basically when you take a double cheeseburger, uh -huh. you split it between the two patties, and then you put a McChicken in yeah. that, and you stack it all up. That's four buns, yeah. two patties, and then chicken. Yeah. And boy, does it test the limits of what a human mouth can do. Yeah. You really- uh, I'm a scientist. You're really looking to like hurt your jaw. I want to get locked jaw. Mid McGangbang. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I couldn't do that because it's not an official menu item. So I went with the Big Mac. It's a good it's fucking a good, burger. It's a good burger. It's fine. Yeah. All right, the Whopper's just fine. The Whopper's way better. I don't know about Look that. Look at the Whopper with all its glory. Who, it's got fire behind it. Is there a guy this. who's eating a, a Whopper every day of his life like that dude who was in Super Size Me? He's dead now. Let's move to your number four, George. Okay, so my number four is Hardy Superstar. Star with cheese. Or Carl's Jr. Uh, Hardy's Superstar right, with cheese. Okay. When I moved here and I found out that Californians call Hardy's Carl's Jr., I was disgusted. I think it's a better name. No, it's actually disgusting. That's the funny part about I know that. the history of how that happened, actually, because I do this. Oh, yeah, I so Carl's Jr. was first. Carl made a restaurant called Carl's, and then he made a smaller stand called Carl's Jr. Hardee's was a separate business entirely. At some point, Carl's Jr. purchased Hardee's because they found they had a similar menu offering. You know what wow. the important thing about that is? It seems like Carl's is the daddy. Carl's is the daddy. Well, you know what? I want the sun because the superstar with cheese is busted. It looks exactly like the Double Dell yeah, cheeseburger. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> what I love about Hardee's is that when you go to Hardee's, you know you're gonna be full. You know you're gonna be full to the point that you're constipated. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Every time yeah. I go to Hardee's, I'm like, damn, I'm not eating nothing else for a day and a half. And that's why I love the Superstar with cheese and it's always available, she's always good, she's always reliant. I agree. I, when I did Eat the Menu, um, Carl's Jr., I thought their burgers were really good. Mm -hmm. I think we all want to assume that Hardee's and Carl's Jr. sucks because it seems like a shady place to go, but they're good. Carl's Jr. also had one of the best ad campaigns I've ever seen on television where if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. And it was guys just eating burgers that would drip. And I like a juicy burger. Anyways, let's move it on to Keith for your number three. All right, it's time for burger number three. Burger number three is... The Junior Bacon Cheeseburger from Little Miss Wendy's. Yeah, that's, I gotta give it up. That's, you that's a bad a, bitch. That's that a classic. One. That's a good one. I love uh, the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. It's, it's a value item that I think is a superior item. Yeah. To the Very bacon. rarely is something on the value menu superior to the rest of the menu. I think it's the perfect little balance. Their bacon is really good at Wendy's. Their fries are terrible, but this is not a fries competition. I don't mind their fries, the honestly. Fries I think their fries are good. Not as Especially when you dip them in a Frosty. Yeah. <sighs> You're one of those people. So did you have the Wendy's 4 for 4? I have had the Wendy's 4 for 4. I think it's uh, too much. What is that? I love the Wendy's 4 for 4 in college. I used to like clean up my freaking car for nickels and pennies to get $4 for the Wendy's 4 for 4. What, what comes four in the 4? Four items for $4. Oh, that sounds delightful. But wasn't it that you could do anything? So you could get four burgers for four, or yeah, three you, burgers and fries. That's psychotic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was oh, good, but man. it was too much. It was enough. When you're tempted to buy that many burgers, you do. <laughs> it was amazing. And then you feel bad. But I love the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. It's a classic. It's delicious. I love Wendy's. Me too. And I, I love that they are made to order. It does take a little longer, especially at a busy Wendy's, but it's worth it. Anyways, let's move on to my number three. My number three is a cheeseburger from Five Guys, and I just realized I've broken the rules. Oh Yo, no! That's a drive-through. Wow, penalty. Hey, wait, is there a Five Guys with a drive-through? Hold on. Probably so. No. It's got no, to be. there's no. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes! There was a Five Guys with a drive-through as of September 24th, 2020. Wow. Where? It is in Surfside Beach, South Carolina. Wait, in my home? 
steak? I like it because it's big. You, you don't, yeah, it's big. You don't have to order some monstrosity making you feel like a, a freak. Yeah. You just ask for a cheeseburger, which is actually a double there. And the best part about it, you order fries, they give you an entire uh, potato sack, <laughs> essentially. Too. And you can see like the fries through the bag from all the grease. Oh, that's how you know it's good. And mm -hmm. they have that Cajun seasoning. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. They get carried away there, don't they? They yeah. get a little carried away. Do you ever walk into a Five Guys and just steal a bunch of peanuts? Yeah. Oh, dude, I do do My that. My mom, she puts them in her purse. Yeah. They get upset when you do that. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, well what are they gonna do? Kick you out? You're leaving. Right. There's not a lot of distinct flavor in the patty, yeah. but the patty is large. I do like the texture of it, and they do offer a pleasing smattering of topping options. Yeah, you can put a whole lot of goofy shit on there. Yeah. No, I and got, it doesn't cost it much more. Weird. No, I got mushrooms on there. Yeah. Sometimes I get crazy and I throw some peppers. Yeah. I always I uh, have tomato. You could have a blast there. They even have like, I think, hot sauce as an option. It is a little bit of like, you're customizing it to be your best burger, but I guess that's fair. And no yeah. extra added cost. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, that's a good point. Which it's is like huge. the Subway of burger joints. Okay, well, let's uh, go to your number three. My number three is, I forgot. Oh, it's a double double from In N Out. Fair enough. And I love a double double. It's classic. It makes me feel like a lead in, you know, a romantic teenage comedy. And I'm like, going to the In N Out before prom, before, you know, Josh shows me his feelings about me. <laughs> so that's why I like a double double. That's why I like that burger, too. Me, yeah. too. We all have a Josh in our life. We I gotta did. say, it's good that you listed the, the little brother yeah, to my three I by did. three. It's the more responsible of it the is. two. And it's sort of the classic. It, it does feel very LA to be like, mm -hmm. let me get a double double animal style. Exactly. Yeah. You feel like you're in a movie. You really do. You order a double double from In and Out, there's no follow up questions like I get when I order a three by three, which is like, are you okay? Uh huh. <laughs> uh, do you need help? Are you gonna eat that in your car? <laughs> yeah. Is it gonna fit all in your mouth? Do you mm. want like a tray? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and you don't, you avoid all that when you go for the double double. So I respect. It. Yeah. I have eaten a three pound burger once. It was, I, I wouldn't advise it. Yeah, no. What? Is, I'm worried about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's move on to your number two. Number two. That's right, the Shake Shack Shack Burger. Oh, classy. Okay. You're classy. You're a classy right. burger girl. It's a classy You're burger. You're high class. It's got a good crisp on the end. Mm -hmm. It's not quite a smash burger, but it is close to that smash burger thickness. I'm not sure if they have a drive through They have through. 20. And you know why? Thank you. Oh! So I can't believe it. Mine's a double shack burger though, of That's course. That's fine. Fitting on things. That's fine. Baby, why <laughs> spell like that? going on there? I was, why are you spelling like that? He was so it? excited about the burger, he forgot to eat. I forgot to say shake. It's shock. It's shock shock. Shock shock. Shock shock. I was just so hungry. Shock shock shock. People are always trying to compare Shake Shack to In-N-Out. I think they're totally different. Yeah. They are uh, different. Like Shake Shack is almost fast casual, whereas mm -hmm. In-N-Out is very much more fast food. Like you are meant to go and eat in a Shake Shack. They have fried chicken sandwiches, then that fried chicken sandwich is bomb. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's really good. Oh, it's so good. Don't get the specialty like Korean ones, just get the normal yeah. one. But I love the burger. I think it has that great normal accoutrement. I also like to put the little pepitas peppers oh, I on done this that. burger. I haven't done that. Just add them to this burger rather than getting the smokehouse burger that's just that. Add those to your normal burger for a little bit of zazz. Do you ever put bacon on this bad boy? Oh, I've done it. Ooh. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. I think this is I more classic. If I'm looking for a classic burger yeah. taste, and Shane, I just had Shake Shack with him recently. He says that the double throws off the meat ratio in the burger. Mm. I kind of agree. Sometimes I do want the big beef pounding to my face. <laughs> that's right. But sometimes yeah. I want the classic. And don't we all want yeah. a big beef pounding to our yeah, face? Yeah, we do. We really do. It's a, a perfect way to greet the end of a day. Mm -hmm. Shake Shack is like that friend that is like really healthy and works out and rich, but like does coke. So it's like, it's still a little, dirty, still a little grimy, you know? Like, I don't want to eat too much because you're not going to be healthy. So that's why I really enjoy Shake Shack. So Shake classier. Shack is like the CW of burgers. Yes, you, it's a classier, but okay. it's still like a dirty down bitch. Mm -hmm. But like, she doesn't know that because the aesthetic of the restaurants are so nice. They, they are really nice. They're really pretty. I love it. I, I you know, I, I gave this a lot of guff. I got caught up in the whole New York versus LA thing. Mm -hmm. I got swept up in it. I'll admit it. It's a very good burger. It's not quite a smash burger like Keith was saying. There's a little more substance to it. And, and yeah, But I'm, the edges sometimes give you that crisp that you yeah. want. And you want the crisp. Yeah, That's nice. why I like the double, because I have double the chance for the crisp. Because sometimes they don't crisp it right. Yeah. And you just like double in general. I like double in general. It's yeah. okay, you a double bitch. That's man. right. You're a there. double Easy. bitch. If my jaw don't hurt after I ate the burger, I didn't have a burger. Let's move on to your number two. You're gonna kill me. Choice. Okay, so mine is... 
the big yum burger from Jollibee. You're Sorry. out of your mind. What the fuck is this? You're out of your goddamn mind. This is the I opposite reaction to Keith and I are having in happening? unison. This sounds this, like a caveman named this burger. First I would think a big yum burger. <laughs> don't talk yum. about yum. Don't talk about yum yum. Don't yum. talk about my baddie at Jollibee. They make great chicken wings. It's a yeah. Filipino fast food place, and I love this place. When I first came to LA, I'd be there all the time, especially as an intern. Couldn't afford nothing. I got a yum burger. I got that pineapple drink. It's, it's got pineapple on the burger, doesn't it? Yeah, it's That's, delicious. Oh, I can't abide by that. Wait, it's stop delicious. putting pineapple on things willy nilly. It's weird. No, it's you know what? She's the bisexual of the burgers, and you gotta respect her for that. And she's good for it. Keith put a non-taco option on a burger list at number five. I respected that. I thought that was courageous. Putting a burger from a place that's not specializing in burgers at number two. Dangerous because and you reckless. Never it's never had a big yum burger. <laughs> <laughs> You're and right. you, she is the golf girl with big titties. Okay, all right? don't well, talk you know. about my big yum burger. Okay, I, I'm sorry I disrespected <laughs> your burger it's and okay, its large breasts. I do respect, respect the list. list. I respect the list. Thank you. I've had it and it, it wasn't that bad. I remember thinking it was going to be gross because it had a pineapple on it, and it did kind of work in the way that ketchup brings a tartness. Yes. It, although it is much more tart than ketchup. Up. <laughs> Keith is kind of sticking to the old standards. A yeah. lot of these burgers look the same. I will, that's, that's my yeah, that's my classic. critique if mm. I had one. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good smattering of options. All these look odd. Like this looks odd. There's mm -hmm. a there's a bun in the middle. This is a monstrosity. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on over here. Great I, burger variety. For great. Choice. Yeah. I you know this is great. I'm just I got distracted by I don't the know yum yum why burger. Why you a hater for real? Well, the thing is like I know that place serves pasta through a drive through. So and I just don't know bussin'. if I ever. I respect your variety. Mm -hmm. of burgers. Thank I you respect much. your size variety as well. The, putting the White Castle cider didn't even cross my mind, mm -hmm. but it's a classic and it I is. appreciate it being here today. Thank it deserves you. an That was very relation. respectful. I feel like you're bougie, but you like a little chaos in your life, but you haven't discovered yourself yet and there's a hole in your heart that you need to fill. Okay. And I hope you figure that out. Okay. And then mine is just great. Okay. The people's list. All right. She saw right through me. <laughs> my number one is all about quality. It's about price, it's about satisfaction, and I think you're all gonna agree it belongs here because mm -hmm. you have already represented this restaurant twice. It is my turn to bring the In-N-Out Double Double to the top. Dude, I can't believe that. Here's why it's on top. Wait, that's crazy because my number one is also the In-N-Out oh! Double Double! Yes! 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 Oh, baby! Oh, wow! Yeah. Hey, man, how wow. Just wow. Do it. Eat that up! <laughs> oh! We are mental. Can you believe oh, it? Yeah. This is a big office. Oh, that was great. Oh boy, that was yeah, exciting. So I'm so crazy. excited to see that we've agreed. We agreed on the top two. The top really? two, that's pretty good. Uh oh, it's a burger phone. They picked the same burger and they... <laughs> <laughs> One of the cheapest burgers on this list, mm -hmm. if not the cheapest, and it uses the best ingredients. You feel like you're in a movie when you order it. It's a very sloppy burger, yet somehow is neat. You get, they, yeah. they put the tray in your car. It feels mm. classic, yet always new. Yeah. Are you going animal style? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, I'm going animal style. Oh, yeah. I'm I might even animal. throw some more onions on. Oh, just willy-nilly. Are you going oh. animal style fries? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'll do that if I'm feeling extra the crazy if I had a bad disgusting. day. You gotta get them well done. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta what? burn them. Oh, are you wanna, are you? Uh, yeah. I don't I get this, in -N -N this crusade fries against In-N-Out fries. Nasty. I go to another establishment. That's wild. McDonald's that when I okay. get in Okay, yeah, I, I respect the creativity. I, I, I hated it at first. You go to In-N-Out, then you go to McDonald's? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Double Double, it really is the perfectly balanced burger. And most cheeseburgers, if you go beyond one patty, it does kind of throw off the balance a little mm -hmm. bit. I think this place does it better than anywhere. You're weirdly not full after you eat it, but that's a good thing because you don't feel gross. Mm. You do want more. You want to leave the audience wanting You could more. go shopping after. And the spread at In-N-Out, I don't know what it is, it's the closest thing I could think of of what I would imagine a Krabby Patty would yeah. taste like oh. in SpongeBob. It's a perfect burger. The first thing I do when I leave town and I come back is I go to In N Out. Yeah. Makes me feel like I'm home. The one by the airport? Oh, oh. Sometimes, sometimes if I'm feeling sometimes crazy. It's slammed. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it's They're slammed. They're all slammed all the time. All the time. It was 11 p.m. the other night. I was an hour and a half outside of LA and I was like, oh, I'll stop at this In N Out. It was fucking slammed. Yeah, it's always slammed. At 11 at night. There's the inside line. and the drive through. Always alive. I, I left. Yeah. I went to another In N Out. Another 15 minutes down the road, also slammed. slammed. This is the best burger on earth. I'll stand by that. 
This is on my death row. I gotta say, you got a real A-list restaurant representation you here. Do. Oh man, this is all like name brand, oh, this family is the safe. Yeah. This is the Yours best. I like because you're like, where are we going? We're gonna have diarrhea for sure. Period. Yeah. I am so excited to see what your number one I, is. I really yeah. am. You know what, let's, I'll shake your hand. Yeah. It's a double, double Great fan. Great work. Shake your you hand. Shake my burger. I'll shake, your, shake burger. your burger. Thank you. And with that, let's move to your number one, Joyce. Beautiful. I feel like I should hype it up since everyone's been picking the same one. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the East Coast. Here we go. Okay. You know, South Carolina, New York. Oh, you don't have to explain you know, yourself. You know, Not in the beat zone. And I'm gonna talk about the greatest burger ever made. The Baconator. Oh, <laughs> the Baconator. Oh, fuck yeah, Joyce. Oh, my this God. burger, every time I oh, eat it, I boy. eat it the next day. I'm addicted to this burger that I deleted DoorDash from my fucking phone. The Baconator is uh, the baddest bitch to have ever popped her Are you? She's the getting emotional. Scene. She's y getting emotional. Y'all understand what the Baconator did for the fucking burger scene. Y'all never fucking understand. It's okay. it's okay, let it out. Oh, my let God. It She's a let bad bitch. She's this a burger bad is bitch. one of the fattiest items on the market, oh, it boy. hurts to eat it, and it's so hurts. good. It hurts immediately. It it's hurts. not one of those things where it's like, is this gonna fuck up my stomach 30 minutes later? It's fucking it it's up now. It's heartburn as you eat it. <laughs> they even have like a Baconator jelly. Like even the jelly on the fucking burger got bacon in it. Like stop my heart, beat me up. Stop my bloodline. It's this a lot. the best Stop burger my ever made. Line. We've all succumbed to the siren song of that red yeah. glow. Yeah. Coming from a Wendy's late at night. Yeah. She's a scandalous little girl with she her pink nails serving us a Baconator. She's a drug dealer and bacon's her drug. Honestly, this may be one of the first top five beatdown episodes where I, I have really nothing bad to say about anybody's list. I think we're all the people's lister here. The Young Burger's pretty wild, I gotta yeah. say. Okay, you know, <laughs> the I, was, pretty wild. I was explaining, I was <laughs> extending an olive branch and uh -huh. you set it on fire yeah. immediately. I don't disagree with it. It's, you know a, it's a weird choice. Y'all ain't got no culture. I'm willing to protect my big golf titty okay. bisexual burger, okay? I gotta say, one of the craziest things I've heard today is someone pointing to something that says Big Yum Burger while saying, you have no culture. <laughs> uh, it's an odd thing to do. You know what? That was really disrespectful, but I let you know I let it you because I respect you and I will let that slide. But if we were in the streets, we would have been fighting. Well, that does it for this episode of Top 5 Beatdown. Thank you to everybody for watching. Make sure you chime off in the comments who is the people's lister, which uh, choices did you agree with, which ones did you disagree with. Once again, thank you, Keith, for coming on. Is there anything that you would like to plug while you're here? Oh, check out the Try Guys stuff. I got a hot sauce. You can buy it on heatness.com. Just search Keith. <laughs> on there, and I'm sure that there's links available otherwise, and yeah. I got a comedy band, we tour, Lou Burger, check us out. But I'm so happy to be here. Great to be on in the new Watcher Digs. That's yeah. the, thank you very much. I've also, by the, the way, show. side note about uh, Keith's hot sauce. I love it. My roommates actually were obsessed with it. Keith sent me some, and they're like, get us more of that hot sauce. My mom buys it. More. Oh, your mom buys She buys she it. Loves it yeah. And also, Joyce, filling in uh, very, very, very helpfully for Shane. Do you have anything to plug as well? Um, pop your pussy today, pop your pussy okay. tomorrow, and follow me on A Tribe Called Joyce on all social media platforms. All right, I don't have a pussy, but I will pop you it. Pop your pussy. pussy. Uh, uh, okay. That's, That's the list. <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses, y'all, so I'm blue. Oh, oh shit. shit. The battery the just battery fell right out. Blue everywhere. This is a rough start. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs>